What is going on guys, Codestar here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing the EVO Elite Champions Pro Set from the Beyblade Burst Pro Series. Let's just get right into it. Alright, so as you can see on the front of the box, it just shows you the stadium and Beyblades you get, along with the two launchers. So taking a look at the back, you can see all the stats of the Beyblades that you get. Um, I'm sure that they mean something, but they're probably pretty irrelevant. So let's just tear right into this thing. Alright, so here's what you get in the box. You get your stadium, and you get this long piece of cardboard. So let's get the stadium. We'll just set it back there. And then... I'm gonna open this box real quick. So here we've got all our parts scattered around here. Uh, let me try and get some of these out of the way. And then we'll start with the Wizard Fafnir. Now I don't have the original to compare, but I do have the original uh, Valkyrie to compare. Here is the I think this one was called Ratchet. It's got the one-way spinning frame. It could spin this way, but... Well, I guess if you hold it upside down, you could spin it both ways, but... If you hold it like this... You can't spin it this way. You can only spin it this way. Well, you get the idea. And then it comes with... I think the, this one was called Rise. It's got a pretty big base on it with a tip that's somewhere between flat and sharp. I guess you'd call it a sharp. All right, so next, I'll actually go backwards. Here we got this uh, rubber flat. I think this one was called Extreme. It's a dash driver, so it's got the nice spring in it. Here's the disc. This one was called Sting got the uh, fixed frame on it and then here we've got the lair we got the sword Valtriac and here is the Japanese to compare so other than you know obviously one looking newer than the other and this one's got stickers uh, pretty identical. It's even got the same, uh, teeth on it. Real quick insert, I'm gonna do a weight comparison between these two layers. Here we've got the Takara Tomi layer. It weighs 21.29. And the Hasbro, uh, I can already feel that it's lighter. But it weighs... 20.59 so actually not as big a difference as I thought it was gonna be but you can definitely feel between the two that this one is lighter all right so now I got the Beyblades together I don't have stickers on yet that's something I'm gonna save for after the video I'm just gonna try something out where I'll sh like throw up a little clip of them with stickers on but here's the Beyblade completed. I forgot to mention that this uh, sting disc actually does move around too. It's got like a spring. I don't know if that's coming up that well. And then here's the uh, Fafnir. Alright, so now I guess we'll just get the uh, stadium together. And I'll get a stadium shot. We can do some test battles. And I'll see you in a second. Alright, and we're back. And I got the stadium put together. Um, quick overview. I like the colors. I like the uh, sort of dark gray and blue color scheme it's got going. But one thing that 
kind of bugs me is this back corner here and it's got the leg there it's kind of a pain to get in at least it was for me and I mean it just looks ugly it takes away functionality why does Hasbro do that all right so I'm gonna flip the stadium around just to make it a little less visible all right for the light launchers I want to check something so if you have a bay logger or a bay logger plus it looks like it does fit on the Hasbro launchers I don't know if I've ever seen anyone test that but let's go ahead and do a test launch real quick now I'll be doing some test launches with the included launchers first up I'll be doing Valkyrie Alright, so there was Valkyrie. Next, I'll be doing Fenafnir. So, this one's actually a left spin. And uh, just as I thought, with that uh, sharp tip, uh, he would go straight to the middle there. Fafnir definitely has a uh, better time in a stadium with that plastic tip than what the Valkyrie had with the rubber tip. Now for the test battle. I honestly thought that the Valkyrie would lose because of the uh, rubber tip didn't seem like it was doing that well. But now let's do Valkyrie versus Valkyrie. Alright, so now I'll be switching to my DB launcher here and I'll be doing the Takara versus Hasbro battle. Wow. I guess we'll call it a tie. Alright, so that's it for the unboxing and review. So some final thoughts. Pretty decent stadium. I'll be using it for some test battles in the future. The only thing that's really upsetting is the ugly leg there. But it's really not a super huge deal. So the retail price of this in the US is $53. But you can actually price check it on the Walmart app and Amazon for about $30. That's how I got it is that I price checked it at Walmart. It's a pretty decent price considering that an individual uh, Beyblade would cost you 20 So it's definitely a recommended buy. If there's anything else you guys want to know about this set, I'll be leaving a wiki link in the description that you can check out. Otherwise, that'll be it for the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.